Nice. What do you do for a living? A beautician. Uh, I'm an engineer. I have a yoga studio. I help people to get to know themselves better. So you are coaching? In the human language, you call it like this. So being in your position, how much can we make per month? 3K to 4 or 5. 50,000? Limitless. It depends uh, who you coach. But how do you invest your money? Reinvesting into myself, my education, and back into my business. Do you rent or you have own property here? Both. Both of them? Yes. These are not directly for rental. These are for projects. Okay. So let's say five. I have an apartment I bought just recently. When you are planning to buy, would you consider agency service or to house hounds by yourself? I think by the owner. I know what I want, but they try to sell you what they have. Investing in a property, is that a wise decision? Given the current circumstances in Malta, I think it is still a good decision. BBL or natural? Yo guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm on the street asking people regarding real estate market. How do they invest their money? In a property or somewhere else? In terms of the market, how they are finding a property or how they work with the agents. It is important for us and if you are also a real estate agent, this video will help you for sure. Stick till the end. This video I'm making it by purpose because I'm also a real estate agent. I need to know from the client's experience what we do wrong that people don't like or it irritates the clients. It is very important to stick on the problems and to solve it out. Once you are solving it out, people of course will like you. They will give their business to you to work it out out. Today's video sponsor is Valix Property. Check my properties where I'm listing it and you will enjoy for sure. Also, you are the sponsor for today's video as always. Let's go to interview people. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? I'm Joanna, I'm 31 and I'm from Stevenage, England. Oh, that's nice. What do you do for a living? A beautician. Oh, what? Beautician. Oh, okay. beautician. Oh, beautician. I'm on my honeymoon. Okay. We got married. Oh, we got yeah. married on Thursday. Man is over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got married on Thursday and we okay. come here for our honeymoon. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Happy marriage years. Thanks. All right, that's great. So what do you do for a living? You said that beautician, beautician yes. And uh, is it your own beauty salon yeah, or self-employed, yeah. Okay, you are self yeah. You are a business owner. Uh-huh. For how long? Uh, 5 years. All right. So how did you start for that business? So, I was originally looking after old people, um, being a carer, mm -hmm. and then um, had my little boy, and then, yeah, just started doing my training courses in beauty and stuff, mm -hmm. and, yeah, done my own business. Well, that's great. Very successful as well. Wow. Joanna Claire Beauty and Aesthetics. Follow it. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Definitely. People will do it. So, being in your position as a business owner in beauty industry, how much can we make per year? Um, probably, like... 50,000. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. enough for you to live in your comfort zone and paying all your expenses? Not in England, no. no. In here it would be. Do you have any side hustle or side business? No, hard work. That's how I make okay. it. Hard so, work. I'm a grafter. Mm -hmm. Work very hard and um, promote my business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep going. Okay. I was originally like a single mum. Okay. So it was just you do what you can for your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's say that you were a single mom and mm -hmm. at the same time a business owner, yes? Yeah. So how do you manage that kind of lifestyle? So originally, um, I started off in my living room mm -hmm. doing clients with my baby boy. Um, and now I've got like my own shop unit. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah. How many shops you have? Just one. Just one, Just yeah. One, yeah. So uh, let's say that you say that I'm a, for doing hard for the promotion mm -hmm. and whatever. How do you scale up your business? Uh, it's like Instagram, Facebook, advertising, mm -hmm. leaflets. Um, I've got a massive client base, mm -hmm. so it's quite easy for me to get clients in. Like I'm fully booked all the time, right. but it's brilliant, yeah. And is there any high season? Yeah, usually summer, mm -hmm. summer and Christmas. Why though? Uh, so summer, everyone's going on their holidays, loving life, mm -hmm. Christmas, Christmas parties, celebrations, right. yeah. Oh, all right. But how do you invest your money? Oh, no, I don't. I just spend it. You are spending? Yeah. For what? So my... <laughs> the way I feel is when I die, I can't take it with me, right? Right? Obviously, so obviously. I'm just going to enjoy it while I've got it. Mm -hmm. On me, my family, my children. 
Mm -hmm. So you make mm -hmm. 50 grand per year mm -hmm. and 50 grand you are splurging all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I don't know, but I've for got a what? lovely house, beautiful mm -hmm. car, beautiful house, mm -hmm. massive garden. My kids are happy, they don't go without. Me and my husband love Mm -hmm. Beautiful life. That's, do you know what I mean? That's great. So yeah, yeah we yeah, just live for the live for the moment. Yeah, you already invested your money. You bought a house, a garden, yeah. and this In kind my of business things as well. Yeah. yeah, your business also. But mm -hmm. uh, your husband is also a business owner. No, no. So my husband mm -hmm. is actually. Um, he works in security, so he done 13 years in the army, mm -hmm. on the front line in Iraq, um, and in then Iraq. Yeah, in Iraq wow. and Afghan. Um, Thanks for his service. Yeah, absolutely. And then after that, he went into close protection security. Mm -hmm. So he currently works like Africa, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So he does six weeks away, six weeks at home. Oh, I got that. Who is the boss in your relationship? Me, obviously. Why? He wears the trousers. I pick what trousers he wears. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He agrees with that? Of course he does. Oh, Jay, I hope so. You wear the trousers, but I pick them, don't I? Yeah, see? Wow, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> uh, for people, if they want to start a beauty business, mm -hmm. uh, starting their mm -hmm. very first beauty shop, what advice you would give to them? Because you already passed um, from some hurdles and you had some hassle also. Yeah, of course. So I would just say, just go for it. It's a massive leap because I was obviously in a full-time job, but then took the leap to go self-employed. And it is really scary, but it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. Like, self-employed, you have You've got no one to answer to. Mm -hmm. I can take all the time off that I want. I've got so much time with my children, so much time with my husband when he's at mm -hmm. home. Yeah, just do it. Just go for it. Yeah, very nice. What is your biggest splurge? Designer handbags. Uh -huh. So Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Gucci. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so how long are you going to stay in Malta? Uh, so we're here for five days. So we got married on Thursday mm -hmm. um, and then flew out here this morning right. for our honeymoon. How much are you going to spend for uh, your five as days? As much as I want. As much as I want. How much <laughs> you brought here in your bank account? Uh, about 3,000. Oh, 3,000 yeah. for both of you? Yeah. Right. You will spend everything for your... No, maybe not, but it's... Is it 50-50? Yeah. Okay. No, it's like we. what's mine is his and what's his is mine. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <Yeah. laughs> is it fair? It, uh, no, no. Oh, I is it a, but be careful because this is your honeymoon and yeah. you are on this stage. You yeah. just got married, so be careful. Yeah, mm. what you are saying? No, 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 yeah. no, no. We are, no, we're very equal. We are, yeah. we are very equal. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't need him, but he doesn't need me either. We just love each other. That's why we're together. What do you mean? You don't need each other. No, I don't need him for his money or anything right. else. He doesn't need me for my money, right. but we just come together and we love each yeah. other. Makes sense. It makes sense actually. So uh, let's say that you are going back from all over again, starting from zero, mm -hmm. with the same mindset what you have but not the skills, not the, the money, what mm -hmm. you have right now. How would you do it? How would you start a business? And how would you came to this stage even better? Well, I suppose it is like invested, isn't it? You have to have like a little, little cash pot mm -hmm. to invest in like training courses, mm -hmm. do what you need to do. And then when you start getting clients in, then you invest more. That's what mm -hmm. I did. So yeah, mm -hmm. literally just keep investing, investing, investing. Right. Learn, learn new skills. Okay. BBL or natural? Yeah, natural, yeah. natural, natural. Yeah. But let's say that people want to look beautiful. Mm. Why it is so important to look Do you beautiful? Know what? It's not about looking beautiful. It's about enhancing your natural beauty. Mm. All right. So it's not like a client comes in into me and I'm like, "You're ugly. We need to do this." It's more about right. You've got this going for you. This going for you. So let's mm. enhance it. Let's make you feel better about yourself. We appreciate and good luck on your business Thanks. and also good luck on your relationship. Enjoy Thank your you. honeymoon. Thank you. It was great. Much. Your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, Yasemin. My name is mm -hmm. from Turkey. And how old are you? Uh, 35. 35? Yes, just. Oh, hi. You, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an engineer working okay. in IT. How long you are in that industry? Uh, it's been like almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. What type and of engineering is it? Uh, it's electronic and communication engineering, my, my field, but I'm doing computer engineering in mm -hmm. IT. And do you, how long do you live in Malta? Two years. Just two years. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So you want to stay here longer? I'm not really sure, still thinking of it. But I hope I can. Because, you know, it's an island as small and you are just uh -huh. looking for new, new opportunities, new things. That's nice. And yeah. Uh, so being in your position, how much can we make per month? I can give you a range. 3K to 4 or 5. 
Right. You are in between three and five? Three, four. Three, four? Yeah. All right. How do you invest your money? Not really investing, mm -hmm. uh, but I have an apartment I bought just recently. In Malta? No, it's in Turkey. Okay. Uh, because since I'm just here new, so I couldn't buy in Malta, but I'm considering to buy one, a new one in Malta mm. for me. So what is your consideration in terms of buying in Malta? What specifically you are prioritizing? Uh, three things. Three things. Like it should be a bit central mm -hmm. and uh, a new one, but also I like traditional Maltese house. And another thing is, uh, I think uh, to feel safe, but Malta in general is really safe. So I wouldn't consider as third one. And uh, a bit maybe clean. <laughs> you have to make it clean. No, I mean neighborhood. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Not you mean inside. the neighbor clean yes. neighborhood? Yes. I mean like, you know, streets and everything. Ah. No, a bit more organized, let's say. Ah, uh, okay, but do you know what will be your budget for buying an apartment? I'm considering maybe 200,000. 200,000? Yeah. Okay. And when you For want me. to buy? So, since I'm a foreigner, I can't buy like mm -hmm. right now because I think you have to finish because there are some low uh, expectations from us. <laughs> and uh, I think I need to finish my second year and it's going to be finished in, uh, on the 7th of November. And I can buy maybe next year. So, when you are planning to buy, would you consider agency service or? to house hounds by yourself? I think by the owner, not agency. Direct from the yeah, owner? direct from the owner. Yeah. Why not? I'm also considering to buy a car because, you know, I don't re uh, really trust in them. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of my culture or... You don't know. Trusting who? Uh, trusting agencies. <laughs> because, you know, they... Uh, I know what I want, but they try to sell you what they have. So this is the thing. So I need to really look into them and I need to really make the decision that I want to this. You know, I, I, I just we just spoke about three things. For example, you look for a, an apartment like with a garden, right? Or something. But they have a rooftop and they are like, oh, we have this, maybe you can cost it. It's, I think, time wastage for me. That's a good point. So... <laughs> If the agent is not sending you the exactly what are you looking for, is it your drop-off? You are not considering that agent specifically, you are moving to another one? No, I am not considering any agencies. Yeah. Because in general, there I think there are two uh, different type of uh, person who can do this, this kind of stuff. One of them are just selling you and they are not considering anything because the only thing that they are focused on is selling whatever they have in hand. Okay. So that's why for me, I have to be really careful with this because I said like, you know, I don't want to go with a rooftop, but they, they have this and they don't have something that I want to. Want to. Mm -hmm. If I found the right one from any of them, I can go with it. I can just discuss about this option. Because since I'm looking for some rents, I go to, uh, to ask for something from any agencies and they're like, uh, this is rented already. Do you want to consider this? And the option is really like way different from my my thing you know so okay the main thing they are not listening to the customer yes. exactly what, what they, they are what? looking for yes yeah, yeah yeah this is the point for me now oh, okay. here and you are also a homeowner in <laughs> turkey yes yeah. yeah okay and when did you buy it last year last year in yeah. your early 30s Mm, not really early. yeah let's say middle 34 feel, yeah i don't feel early 30s yeah but let's say we is. say early 30 okay. 34 you look young i made it <laughs> okay but do you feel that you are a proud person you already bought your own property and this is a success story for you it's not a success story because mm -hmm. i had my first car it was a3 mm -hmm. audi and i was my in my uh, early 20s you know, it's quite expensive in Turkey, but I made it because I worked a lot. I yeah. agree. I agree. And yeah. at the end, people from Turkey, uh -huh. if they want to come to Malta to invest in Malta, buying a property, house or any type of properties, okay. what advice you would give to them from the, let's say, cultural point of view? You already lived here from the Turkish mm -hmm. background mm -hmm. and you live here in Malta. You know how it works. Okay. What advice you would give to them? You know. I wouldn't give them any advice because if they have money, if they need to invest, they need to do. Because I think in Malta, prices are really going up. 
like so fast compared to the other European countries. So, but I think the best is if they are not living here, if they would uh, consider to buy one here, uh, it will be like more central. Uh, so they can do maybe Airbnb or they can do the other stuff, rent it, rent it out. I would say like they should go with the traditional Maltese house because the new ones are really not my thing. And you know, because they are going up the yes, price-wise, it's also yes. expensive. Yeah, they should take action as soon as possible because if they have money, they shouldn't wait for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Property is a good investment or no? I think uh, in, it's, it depends on the countries because in Turkey it was, mm -hmm. but now the prices are really like stable. Mm -hmm. And if you do uh, an investment in Turkey, it's not a good idea for, for, for properties. But in a long term, I think it's a good idea because at least you have a, a, a thing like hot money. You, you just spend it and you just do investment. Sometimes it's a bit risky. But if you have a uh, property, it's always there for you. At least if you don't have one, you should have one. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Secure the money. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your name, age, and where are you from? <laughs> My name is Rosita. I'm 36. I originally, I'm from Lithuania, but I've been in Malta for over 12 years now. Wow, such a long years, yeah. Yes, happy years, beautiful yeah. years. That's yes. good. Why you are lying to us, 36? <laughs> I'll take the compliment. Uh, you look younger. Thank you. Okay. How do you keep yourself fit? The secret is very simple. The secret is yoga and movement and fitness. All right. Achu Labai. Ah, Prussia, Lithuanian. Good skills. Yeah, I'm practicing by talking to people. So, uh, what do you do in Malta? I have a yoga studio. You are a business owner, I would say. Correct. Okay. How long you are in that industry, in that business? In the industry itself, I say 10 years. Running a yoga studio as a business, five years. Fine. That's good. Is that a profitable business? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you share us some numbers, how much we can generate per year having a yoga studio? You can live a comfortable, happy life as long as you have a strong team behind you who care about the business just as mm -hmm. much as you do. How do you invest your money in your real life? Yes, uh, my biggest investment, the... Um, the one that I can almost guarantee that I will receive a return is reinvesting into myself, my education, and back into my business. That's good points, investing on yourself and Correct. then back to the business. Correct. And investing on yourself, what kind of return on investment you have ever received? It was your the highest ROI. For me, I measure success and my ROI by the quality of my daily life that I live. So if I wake up absolutely enjoying what I do, that is the biggest ROI for me. That's great. And really great point what you are shutting out. <laughs> and do you rent or you have own property here? Both. Both of them? Yes. So you have two? You could say so, yes. You are staying in one for renting, another one you bought for renting out? Something like that, yeah. Okay. When did you buy your property? A uh, long, long time ago. I've been here for over 12 years. Yes. But uh, investing in a property, is that a wise decision or do you have to invest in somewhere else? I would not be the person to consult on property investments, unfortunately. I'll happily consult on movement and fitness and yoga. Mm -hmm. uh, but given the current circumstances in Malta, I think it is still a good decision. The prices keep rising, the property keeps um, paying back whatever you input. So I do think even at this point, whoever is considering it is a good decision. Uh, so, do you have, let's say that, you have uh, half a million on a side, where would you invest it? On a business or property or stock shares, whatever? Yes. So the best way, they say, is to diversify your portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, some players prefer higher risk. Others, like myself, are very safe players. So I think diver diversification is the answer. A little bit of everything. All right, so good. When did you buy your property? Did you choose agency or you did it by yourself? Uh, it was friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. okay. Connections. Good. And people from Lithuania, if they want to come to Malta to buy a house, what advice would you give to them? People from Lithuania. Uh, I would advise them, if you love the sunshine and the sea, uh, and you're looking for a more comfortable, simple life, 
and you would like to splash some cash on an expensive property, mm -hmm. um, the advice would be, yeah, just go for it. That's good. And let's say that you have a real estate agent in front of you mm -hmm. and they are mainly focusing on for selling. And what advice you would give to them working better with the clients? Probably to show more personal touch and care when dealing with individual clients to really listen to their needs. However, having said that, a lot of agents in Malta are very high quality and it's normally the customer that might be a little bit too picky. So you would give advice for customers and not the agents? I know very, very good agents on the island. I think they're doing a great job. Uh, it's more maybe often clients wasting the agent's time because they are not sure exactly what they want or they may be not being very honest about the budget that they have. So it works both ways. All right. That's good. Someone actually sharing this information as well, not only blaming agents. No, but no, no, definitely right. not. So that's good. And at the end, any best piece of life advice you would share with our audience? Yes, um, life is best lived in the cliches. So any cliches you can Google, the answer to your life problems is in those cliches. For example, finding balance. We all strive for finding a better balance in our daily lives. So whatever works for you, a little bit of everything, a healthy lifestyle, movement, a pet or a child, um, whatever delivers towards your uh, you feeling more happy on a daily basis. Great. Thank you very much for stopping by and giving Pleasure. us an interview. It was Thank amazing. You. Name, age, and where are you from? I'm Christina. I'm in my 40s and I was born in Lithuania. All right. So how long do you live in Malta? Long. 21 years. Oh, wow, wow. 21 <laughs> years old. Yes. What brought you here? Uh, family. Right. You got married with Maltese? Yes, and wow. uh, we created the family and I'm living here. That's great. So what do you do for a living? I help people to get to know themselves better, to experience peace, creativity, go beyond their limits, to see that there are really new limits. So you are coaching? In the human language you call it like this. Okay, but non-human language, how it called? Life. Life? Life, limitless life. Okay. But mainly like what type of experience they are having through you when it's, you are it's, it's basically when you reach your current limit whichever area you're in and you are looking how to go beyond it mm -hmm. there are specific uh, ways which are not very conventional yet they help you go through that boundary and uh, then you continue your life but uh, in a much more enhanced way that's what i do that's great. Is it your own business? Yes. Right. So, can you share with us how much we can make in your position doing what you do per year? Limitless. It depends uh, who you coach and uh, what your goals are. Right. Who was your highest client for a lifetime? That is kind of personal information. <laughs> I mean, not giving out a name, surname, but like a celebrity or a ministry or... Yes, all of them. All of them? Yes. Wow, that's great. And what's the best piece of advice, life advice, you would give to us? I would this, give that... Sorry for stopping, yes. but this question I will ask twice, before and after, okay? Yes. So, there are two things which I want to mm -hmm. pay attention to, is that life doesn't have divisions. This is human mind decides who is celebrity, who is not. And it's individual mind who is defined by its own knowledge. So, first and foremost, look at everything as yourself. It will help you connect deeper and understand your own mind and understand your own limitations. So the second one is just be curious. Don't uh, take uh, answers in the form of words because they are just indicative. They are never the truth. As an example, you say, what's your name? My body was named Christina, but Christina is just simply a sound. I can relate to any sound. So any kind of sound in the language is indicative. It's never the truth. Amazing. And we are going to some financial questions. And being a business owner, how you are investing your money? Money looks after itself because there are different ways how we can do. You can do real estate, you can do educational programs which other people develop and you spend yourself. 
That's great. And you said that you are also investing somewhere for the real estate as well. Yes. Is it like a, you are approaching it as a rental investment or just buying no. for yourself? In the projects where people build uh, different projects and I invest in them. In what sense? It's the like? same. Somebody wants to build uh, something, create a center or something. Mm -hmm. So it could be part of the investor. Okay. Like I would say angel investors. Yes. All right. That's good. So uh, at the moment, how many properties you have bought for rental investments? Uh, these are not directly for rental. These uh -huh. are for projects. Okay. So let's say, and they are not really rental rather than in that sense. So five. Okay. That's good. Did you so bought it like? Let's not to talk about the diversification or sharing with them, but in terms of buying properties, you choose going with the agencies or directly from the owner? Uh, directly owner. Yeah. And why so you want to work because with it's agencies? Because human. It's human to human. You know mm -hmm. the human, you know its values. And uh, I never invest in agency because you invest in the human. Humans live and somehow they have experience. Mm -hmm. So if you know how they live, you know who, who, how it's going to develop. Mm -hmm. You can never predict 100%. That's for sure. Yet there is a certain um, track record which you can really trust well. Yeah. Amazing. People into real estate, they are maybe agents and they want to stand out on a business. They want to be uh, noticeable in that industry because there are a lot of real estate agents, but some are standing out. What makes them different? I guess quality and attitude towards people. They really truly want to, to help those people to see what their needs are. Uh, I see success as always as one thing. You see yourself in somebody else who you serve. Because business is about serving. It's not really about making yourself popular. Give the best and that comes back. It always comes back. What advice you would give to an agent? Let's say that you have a chance to talk to them and also they are watching to this video. What advice you would give to them to work efficiently with the client? Become interested in them. Truly become interested mm -hmm. what the client wants. Because you are not selling. You are helping exchange. So exchange has to fit. It's like, you know, shoes. You can't push on your own ideas. Mm -hmm. You really have to see what the person is living, how they're living, how they're going to use it. Ask questions, you know, not assume. So and get to know who you are selling for and what their needs are. And basically really, really, it's a very, it sounds, you know, very simple. Yet in the simplicity, there are always answers. Uh, people look for very fancy words. There are none. Great approach, actually. <laughs> It's interesting, sounds interesting. And let's say that you are also uh, dealing with agents and you see that they are doing something different than your expectations. And what challenges you are facing working with them? You see, I don't ever have expectations, so it's always easy to adjust. For example, it's like you're driving on the road and you see the hole. If you don't have expectations, you will take decisions what to do with that. We will go around, you go through it, but you you know. When expectation, you'll start, uh, you know, haggling. Right. <laughs> Waste of time. <laughs> That's good. And why did you decide for giving us interview? Spontaneously. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay. But it's good that today is the sometimes you do. <laughs> Most you likely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And the question I'm asking again, because after talking with financial side, with investment, rental industry, again, like what's the best piece of advice you would give to us, let's say even for the real estate agents? Look a little bit more deeper at aesthetics of the city. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it's about uh, many times sell and get and the aesthetics is lost and you know what's inspiration when you walk on the street and you really see some beauty on it because whatever you give out it comes back so you do need to look for inspiration somewhere else that's great and the environment which you create by yourself that's good and what do you think makes people especially for entrepreneurs in their early stage in the beginning stage they are doing something wrong and that's why they are standing out of the business um, they are never really wrong. It's just if you're truly entrepreneur, you will take as many steps as needed and you'll always succeed. Some people get an idea because it's fashionable, because it's, you know, somewhere in the environment. Yet in their 
true as deep as heart, they are not entrepreneurs. So honesty within oneself, if you're an entrepreneur, I know that you will succeed, it's 100%. If you're not an entrepreneur, just admit and work for somebody because everybody needs a team. Entrepreneur is not somebody who works alone. It's just also some kind of fancy title because it's a lot of responsibility. It's uh, not only for one body, it's for many more bodies when you take decisions. So entrepreneurship is not for everybody. For those who do, they always go and succeed. They don't make mistakes. They make trials and sort of errors, but never mistakes. All right. That's a good point. Thank you very much. And good luck on your business, on Thank your you. investment plan as well. We appreciate for talking to us. That is basically from me today. You saw how many great answers we got from people and it will help us a lot because we are in sales industry. Remember, in a sales industry, you have to listen to your clients. You have to know what is their requirement, what they are asking from you, what is their needs. And after that, you can sell your product. Remember, you are not going to sell your product. You are selling some motivation, some emotion or whatever feeling they need from you. Today's video sponsor is Valex Property. Check this channel, you will see a lot of property views, you will see a lot of house tours view. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you. I see you in the next video. Bye.